Um, this is just general ball control, you know, getting the girls warmed up, uh, loosening up their shoulders. This is something that we do every day. Um, you know, we do the same kind of ball control ritual first 10, 15 minutes of practice. Um, this is basically to get them warm more than anything else. Right here, right here, right here. All in on three, two, three. All, All in. in. <laughs> this drill here, it's a, it works on a couple things. Um, just allows our hitters to be get comfortable passing the short serve, which we saw a little bit last weekend. Some teams started serving us short. Uh, that's kind of we've used that strategy a lot early on in this year, and some people kind of used it against us last year. And maybe we should have passed, practiced it a little bit more. And then also. Just some communication. Our setters have to, or our servers have to go to a place on the floor, and then our hitters have to listen and try to attack to that zone on the court. Good. As soon as you see that softball, just tell her so you can step in and take that. You're in a better position. Everything was right. You read right. Just got to let her know you're there. You, you know, we, we try to get our second side to do a little bit of what we see on film, and. And I guess it all depends on where we are in our season as well. You know, preseason and, and when we get a little bit more time, like once we get into conference play and to prepare, we can do a little bit different things on Monday and Tuesday than, than what we do here where we only one or two practices. We get a lot of six on uh, when, we're, when we're short on in the week. And then as a week, if we have a home week, um, we'll do a lot more of individual work, get some blocking work in, defense work in. Um, so we got to kind of pick and choose. Uh, what we want to focus on. You know, we always want to focus on our drills and practice. We want to make everything competitive. You know, we always want to have a winner and loser because every time we, we suit up on Friday or Saturday, there's always a winner and a loser. So in just about every drill we do, um, we have a winner and a loser. And I think it can creates competitive environment in the girls. It gets them used to playing under pressure. and and they have a little bit of fun with it all, uh, as well. Alex, even if you just touch that ball, over. You know, like if you see it's coming right here and it's, they have a chance and you just push the ball deep to five, then we reset instead of us having to like actually fight or oh, is it gonna come down? You know, just push it deep in that corner and we reset and okay. go. You, you know the ones that are coming like, fast. Yeah. You know, we're trying to get our second side to emulate a little bit of what we see on film. And uh, ah. the big thing with us now is just uh, settling into a rotation. And then we put restrictions on our first side. Uh, for example, if the pass isn't within the box, then they can't score a point. So we, we try to restrict our first side a little bit more to make them a little bit more mindful of of things that they're doing instead of just getting the score easily. That was a one out of 10, that was nice. <laughs> just getting a little bit of conditioning in at the end of practice, not much to it. <laughs> Ready? Go. Anytime we do conditioning, we always want to kind of end with a little bit of pressure and, and try to test them when they're tired. You know, a lot of times we get in a routine and, and doing things when we're when we're fresh and it's easy. So, you know, we make them do a little bit of running there and then a little bit of pressure to get out of the out of the running and, and also to go out and serve when you're tired. And that happens a lot at the end of the match. You know, they've been going two, three, four, five sets. You know, at the end of two hours, can they go back and serve the location on the court that we want them to? Or can they go back and get that quality pass at the end of the set? We go into a game with a game plan, but the other team's doing the exact same thing we are. They're watching film, they're preparing for us, and, and it becomes a chess match. Uh, who can adapt, who can make the changes, and, and that's one thing we really try to, especially with this group more so than the group last year, uh, that we're trying to educate this group on is making those changes right away within one or two points of us changing something on the court instead of giving up four or five more points and then adapting to what they're doing. So, uh, you know, that's something that this group's getting better at. and. Um, as their volleyball IQ grows and they become more comfortable with each other. Uh, we hope to see that continue to improve throughout the year. Good job. <laughs> RGB on three, two, three. RGB.